Hello everyone, Fragile Metal is here, and um, yet again, I uh, remind you that I have returned from my visit with Baseball Boy, recording the video game uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I have returned, I am here recording my voice over the, um, the battle with uh, Mr. Larry over here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm adding anything extra to this. And quite a few losing attempts. I'm, I'm adding a few of those. Um, I'm not sure if I tried using a Chansey here. I mean, a Blissey. I caught one, and again, I, I like it. You know, it looks, it's very pretty. I like its special defense. But going up against, if you bring it up against a guy like Larry, you know, a physical attacker, you know, with those... Like, even with a Komala and, 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 um, that was another one he already had, the Star Raptor, <laughs> that thing, Blissey has no chance. So, I have decided, I have, um, come to a decision about this battle. Uh, first off, I am going to be using my own Cologne. Unfortunately, it is week to close combat, as you know. I probably should have just quit while I was ahead, while I had known that that bird had close combat. As does the Star Raptor, of course. Which is, which does put me at a disadvantage. However, I decided to make it a bit more of a disadvantage, but kind of flip it on its head. See, I figured, you know, the first time I beat Larry, I used only three Pokemon to match his three, right? And I realized I could do that again, because, um... What's it called? Cyclozar has a certain move. Well, you, you see what it does, right? It gives you extra attack. Unfortunately, it uh, doesn't really help when you get paralyzed by Body Slam. That's the that's the real trick to this, right? Because if I keep doing that, I can bring up my attack. But I have to, I have to, I had to figure out something because uh, I needed to, I needed to power up more than that. So I had to use one of my mints, I'm afraid. Um. So yet again, I'm using the pig and bear, but uh, the Cyclozar is new. I think it's a pouch, you know, it's got the lizard pouch wheel that looks like a wheel, the pouch that looks like a wheel. Um, so if I, yeah, I've, I've shown you Larry's uh, little dialogue. It's, it's really, it's a really nice touch to have all these gym leaders, you know, get a little more philosophical in their intro uh, speeches, you know, in these rematches. Oh wait, did I include it twice here? Well, if I did, I don't, I don't apologize. Uh, maybe I just skipped ahead, yeah, and I forgot to cut it out. And yet again, I do not apologize. I made my mistakes, and I am serious. <laughs> okay, Larry. Oh, Larry. Oh, you are not going to like this, Larry. So first off, not starting with the fairy type against a thing that I, I think you've seen has Iron Head. Because I don't want it to get, like, stunned, you know? I don't deal with that. I have no time for that. I'm a busy man. I have attack to lower. Granted, it is dangerous to do this because I can get paralyzed. In hindsight, probably should have been careful. Put another cherry berry on bear over here. But it didn't get paralyzed, I think. At least not so far. Does this do it? No. Maybe the next one. Yeah, it's great that, uh, that it has priority. Still no paralysis. So 
I figured I might be able to do this without losing a Pokemon. I don't know if I do that that way, though. Ugh. Excuse me. Alright, so the trick here is to make as many turns against this Oinkalone as I can to do that move that you saw that raises attack. And also something else, but that's somewhat, well, slightly inconsequential. Anyway, here's Paralysis, right? About time. Uh, I think Body Slam has a 1 in 3 chance of doing that, so... You can kind of rely on that. Got a really defensive Pokémon, like, uh... I don't know if Blissey learns it. If it does, you could kind of send it against a Psychic type with Special Attacker and just deal with it that way and then switch to something that can take a hit and then just crush it. Anyway, there's that move. Uh, it's a Steel type move, right? But, you know, the pouch is like a wheel, the wheel is like a gear, and the gear spins. We are we are <laughs> we are grinding gears today. <laughs> we are going to grind this man's gears to the to the ground. Yeah, how about that? A double phrase: grind it to the ground and grind those gears. Going to make him very angry as we uh, take turn after turn, raising that attack and also speed. But at this point, I don't need any more speed. I, I really I would have been satisfied if this was Dragon Dance, but I mean, might as well go with this anyway, right? Even if Cyclozar could learn it, I don't I don't care. Anyway, uh, here's as I said, you know, I do have a Cherry Berry right over here. Yeah, that's the trick with uh, with Larry. Bring your berries when you face Larry. That's plus four attack, but I figured it may be... No, I think that's plus five. I used it five times. Paralyzed again, but... Uh-huh. Uh, kind of interesting, because the signature move of Cyclozar is Shed Tail. But in this case, it knocks off half of its HP to bring up a substitute and switch, right? It's like U-turn and substitute, but it does no damage basically. There's another ability that Cyclozard has that I think reduces the HP loss by like two-thirds, so it loses one-sixth when it does Shed Tail. So in that case it can be quite useful, right? You can bring out something else and then switch over back to Cyclozard and do Shed Tail again. Switched into it again and, and again. But um, anyway, uh, <laughs> this is what we and those of us in competitive Pokemon, except I don't play competitive Pokemon, uh, this game is competitive enough for me. Thank you very much. But this is what is called a sweep. As <laughs> with this Pokemon, I'm sweeping through the entire team, as I have done with the Elite Four. Um, it even kind of looks like a sweep, right? You know, like, when Cyclozar attacks, with a physical attack, I guess, it sweeps its tail. Anyway, this is why I had to do five uh, gear things, shift gears, because of that Intimidate. I, I felt like it probably would have dropped my attack a bit too much. And, I, I mean, I could have brought out the bear, or... Even my oink alone again. Oh wait, no, they, they would not have survived a uh, close combat, right? Now keep in mind, Star Raptor, very powerful, right? You know, literally is Raptor, right? And it's very strong. Uh, you know, like a dinosaur, like a carnivorous dinosaur. Um, so there's, uh, there's beating Larry, yet again, 
with three Pokemon. And yet again, he's, uh, well, he's battled enough. He's hungry, I guess. He's grabbing those, uh, rice balls. Uh-huh. And rethinking his decisions. Okay, Larry. Hope you have a productive day at work, <laughs> as opposed to this uh, humiliating defeat. <laughs> oh my. No, no losses here. Not for me.